like to do a video today uh, talking about uh, what I take fishing with me in my tackle box, uh, why I take it, um, stuff that you don't really need, stuff that you do need. So keep it nice and simple. I've uh, been asked this question a few times lately over the last couple of weeks. Um, do I take too much gear? Don't I take too much gear? What should I take? How many leads? How many reels? How many spools of line? Do I take scales? Um, there's an obvious answer for that. Right. When I go fishing, I take five reels. Uh, casting specials. The reason why I take five reels is because we all have bad days from birdies, crack offs, um, snaggy bottoms where you go for a break and you lose half your line or if your, t if your lead up tie trips out, goes down, catches your other line, you wind them both in and then you find one of your reels is completely scagged so you've got to change it. So you can go fishing with one reel or two reels but then what, what's going to happen is um, if you bird it you're going to have to strip it all off and then fill your reel up with more mainline when you can buy a third reel and then put that on and as I've seen happens happen to me in the past put the third spare reel on birdie it so you're back to square one so I find it's nice to take multiple reels um, even though I never go through five I think the most I've been through is three the two I'm fishing with and one I've either birdied or lost all the mainline uh, it's just to be safe and sorry really it's nice to get the more chance, the more time you've got a bait in the water, the more chance you've got to catch in the fish of a lifetime. Um, my casting specials are loaded up with, for the channel, £20 value bass sport with £100 value bass leader. Um, so you don't need five reels, but if you can do, you know, there's no harm in it. It's just you get more time in the water then without having issues with respooling. Um, I keep my reels in neoprene cases at all times. I'm a bit of a tackle tar. I don't like scratches and scuffs. Uh, what else I got in my box here is a little red, a red tub that sits on the crevice that goes around the top. In here, that's where my phone and my keys go. Underneath there is lots of spare elastics because it's happened to me, plenty of people I've been fishing with, they run out of elastic, they drop their elastic in a rock, end of the session. Um, scales, always take scales, sunglasses and the old faithful bungee to wrap around the leg of the stand which you've seen me do in previous videos to stop your rod stand from going over. That sits there. I've got two side trays. One side tray is for my bits and tackle. That is from my last session because I never use the same rigs twice. Uh, I cut them up, keep the swivels, beads, the hooks, the imps, and then I use that. That will go into another container, and when I'm making rigs, I'll use all that. And then take a bits box with me just in case. In there, it's got all the type of hooks I use, all my 5 OBMXs. My octopus hooks, uh, Pennell BMXs, and the smaller size ones and twos for scratching, etc. My rot, my VMO rotter clips, my silicone caps to go over my shock leader, and my fast links. Then there, fast links, and spare imps and stuff like that. I never really needed it, but it's nice to have it there just in case. And on this side, thin nose pliers, sharpening stone, elastic, nail clippers, plain lead for wetting your line, and a little T-bar. I've also got this T-bar bigger again in my cool box. It's nice to have it to hand. Um, right. This box I love. I take a mixture of everything with me. You don't really need it, but sun cream is a must. Doesn't matter if it's a cloudy day, you get windburn, 
panda eyes and the dreaded seaweed cancer it causes skin cancer the sun so you always wear the boys I fish with will see no matter where I am what I'm doing as soon as I'm there sun cream on job done always sun cream and most of you will probably see that when I'm fishing I've got my rods low on an angle it's the way I like it but if I'm fishing sand it's quite windy so I haven't got my reels close to the sand eventually now and again I will put this on and get my reels up off the sand um, right I also take one of these this is a spreader block for the rod stand the main body of the stand goes through there and the legs come off here because it's a bit of a story I was fishing with my mate John Austin many years ago uh, we're on the white lights my stand was up as normal watching the rods the whole thing just collapsed the whole thing went to the floor bust my eyes on my rods a lot over a, over a long time these will get brittle and if you check you will see a few cracks appear from where the screws go through etc because plastic does get brittle so it's nice to have one of these for a couple of quid off online vmo places sell them just keep one in your box with a screwdriver if it happens take the screws out do it you can carry on with your session i also take spare bolts spare nuts to wind on you know when you're changing your cups stuff like that if you drop them in the in the rocks and the cracks game over also one of them if i take a third rod like a conti always handy to have one of them and again spare bits for the stand that's for the bottom and that's the little uh where the bar goes across for your cups so let's bring it oh and there's here we go this is years old. Um, I've got a lighter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six spare end eyes and glue. Um, not just myself, but people around me, they bust eyes, rods hit the ground, or they've pulled the rod out of the rod bag and not noticed there's an insert missing. So quite a few mates I've helped out. Always handy to have that because that's the difference between going home with a broken eye or carrying on fishing. So that's that. And now, how many rigs do you take fishing? What rigs do you take fishing? Now, years ago, I used to have a big Any Fish Anywhere rig wallet, and I used to take everything. Don't need it. If I'm going down at Abthor on the hounds, then I take just a hound rig wallet. If I'm going on the rays, then the hounds, or the rays and the hounds, that's all I'll take. I've got a rig wallet with five foot pulleys and up and overs, nice and, nice and simple. Each rig wallet holds 30 rigs, so in there is 15 five foot pulleys and 15 up and overs. In there is 30 hound rigs. If I'm going to go through 30 hound rigs, I might as well go home. So it all depends if I'm going to fish the rough for a cod. I'll take, I've got a rig wallet with two and three foot pulleys. And then I've got a rig wallet then, two up clip downs, two up clappers and loop rigs. So if I want to have a laugh somewhere, if I have a good on chisel, don't matter. Rig wallet is full of them. Conga, that's made up of pulley rigs of just £200 straight through. And then this one is a three up clip down, up and over place rigs and three up clappers. So I could go, so you could go, let's say, to the green light. So you're going to go and fish for the rays and then you fancy going in the harbour side to go and catch some white in Rockland. Take that one. Three clappers, three clip downs. Simple. And then I've got spare rig wallets in case I think of anything else. I've got a couple more in my bag. i got um, a spur dog one with smaller hooks and a taupe one with bigger hooks. And then in here I have spare ones, so I've got my rig wallets, and then I've got these tabs full. So when my rig wallet gets low, they're the VMO 60 catfish, they're my top ones. That's three foot pulleys, like they say again. If that gets low, just take them out there, top them up. Five foot pulleys for the rays. I'm a bit low on these because I've done a lot of hounding this year. 
a hound's not the snot. I've probably got about 20 rigs left in there. So that's my job for this winter. Got a spare one. And there you go, the VMO 40 catfish. That's for the spur dogs. Um, when I'm talking about these place rigs and up and overs and clip downs, they're actually VMO own rigs. So let's, let's, let's take this one up to show you, for example. See? That is the up and over place rig. So I haven't got time to make these type of rigs. Um, and I trust VMO components, Valivas, Cedra, they're all top quality. They never let me down when I have used them. So my rig wallets, especially them ones, are full to the brim with VMO owned rigs. So I think I pretty much covered it for that. So yeah, take enough reels, not to end your session early, not to give you a nightmare. Plenty of leads. Ignore that, that's the uh, scrap man. <laughs> He'd be gone now. Always take sun cream, always. Take sun cream. Plenty of lime. Plenty of shock leaders. I use 18 pounds for my weak link over rough ground. Plenty of elastic, plenty of bits. Enough to keep you fishing, not, not a mega amount. Uh, so, hope it helps. Hope you enjoy the video and tight lines. <laughs>